So let's talk about the initial impression of the box. Okay, so this thing is extremely light. Uh, according to websites, uh, it's about what? 8.5 pounds? It's about 8 pounds for entire package. Okay, it's extremely light there compared to the F64. I mean, even just the grinder alone is about 15 pounds. Uh, quite heavy. Take a look at what we got here on the package here. So let's take a look. We have the brush. Okay. We have another water bottle. This is the dosing cup. We have the bellow. Look at the size of that compared to regular DF64. Okay, so this is the regular DF64. Obviously, I have the popcorn stopper there, but yeah, look at the size. Much smaller with V version. Okay. So this is a dosing cup stand. Okay. So they need this. I'm going to show you why. Okay. This is the grinder. Okay, let's take a close look at grinder. So, again, it's extremely light, very slick design. Here's the RPM control here. I'm, I'm gonna plug in about a few minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the overall look and feel. I was a little confused earlier why we have two, okay? So, check this out. Goes up right on the bottom here. That's our magnetic. Just like so, pretty tight fit. The other one goes to the top. So which means very easy to clean. Okay, very easy to clean. Again, go on the bottom, go on the top. Pretty slick there. On the top, from this one, you can actually take it out. Or it has a kind of like magnetic fit, uh, actually has the gasket on it. So very nicely fit there as well. Pretty slick design. So you don't need a uh, kind of like anti-popcorn device. It's already built in, just like so. And then obviously we have the, we can change our grind size. And there's this one we can lose to, you know what? Uh, we're gonna take a close look, okay? But I do wanna plug it in right now. Do you remember earlier we tried to figure out what this was? Goes right there, the dosing cup right on the top. Okay, so obviously we have the bellow right goes on the top as well. Okay, I wonder do we even need it? I, I bet you we can just use the uh, just use a palm. Should be okay. But yeah, I mean, again, works pretty good. You can take it out if you wanted to. You can clean it inside. Okay, let's take a look at the RPM option. Your max is 1800. Go down to six is the minimum. So lowest is 600 RPM max. But keep spinning here, but the we you know, obviously we stop at 18. Again, keep spinning, but six, uh, six to 800, 1800 RPM. You know what, let's check the sound, how loud these grinders are. Okay, let's start with the DF64. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, it's not too bad there. So let's uh, uh, let's try the DF64V. Man, you know I have to say they are extremely extremely quiet. Everything about these grinders are pretty tight. Okay, well built so far. Uh, very thoughtful design. Uh, looks great, but ultimately, it is about 
how's coffee taste. Let's compare to optional P64. As you look of it, optional P64 is much taller. We have the RPM controller on the bottom, just like optional to the side. And the, you know what? I'm very curious about the sound quality. Okay, let's uh, check the sound again. It's pretty quiet. Let's try it with optional. Again, again, optional is extremely quiet as well. We are comparing apple to orange here, folks. Okay, it's not a fair comparison. Uh, even though it looks similar, but this is only $600 grinder compared to almost $2,000. Okay. But uh, let's close look at uh, DF64V even more. Here, just go counterclockwise. You can just take it out, pretty simple. Should come out. Okay, very similar design. Okay, very tight design. Just like the F64 VOD, a lot more refined. Let's put it that way. Okay, a lot more refined there. Oops. I don't wanna. Okay, and I'm just gonna. And then, so this is the top ring. Just grab it. Just lift it up. Just make sure you print the same rotation. Okay. Again. This is not the regular typical DF64. Uh, the Italian style grinder, the burrs, but it looks very different. Okay. I can't wait to try this one. I'm just gonna, let's turn it on. Hold on, let's take a look. Extremely quiet. Pretty smooth so far. I'm just gonna put back in. Same rotation. And then we simply just put back in. That's it. So as you saw, overall impression from unboxing to like first close look on DF64V, uh, extremely thoughtful design. Man, I'm so far, okay, we haven't met coffee yet, but so far I'm pretty impressed with it. Okay, so far so good. With the RPM control, was I was a little wary about it, but works, okay. But I'm not a big fan of the display location there. Again, to the left. So if you're a grind, you cannot see the dial, which means that you need to set it before you press the button, okay? If you set it at 900, you gotta set it at 900 now, and then press the button, okay? And then obviously, I, so whenever I'm using my P64, I always just call hot start. I start the motor first. I never put the bean and then press the button. So very similar workflow with the P64, but, uh, overall, side by side with the DF64, the original version of it, I mean, this thing is a huge improvement. Okay, huge improvement there. With high, high, uh, how quiet this machine is, this grinder is. I mean, looks good, very tightly built. And then, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the alignments next. And also, let's pull some shot. Okay, let's pull some shot. And that's what's gonna happen uh, coming days. And again, my initial impression, I have to, I'm pretty excited about this grinder, okay? I'm very excited about it. I'm gonna big shout out to friends at Espresso Outlet to send me over to review on this channel. Uh, but it's ultimately, it's all about the coffee taste, folks, okay? How beautiful your coffee grinder, grinders are. If a coffee's not taste good, I mean, what's the point, okay? So ultimately, we have to grind the beans. Okay, but so far it comes to aesthetic wise, functionality, so far so good, okay? Again, this thing is only $600, all right? For what you get, quietness. May, oh, let me know, okay, let me in the comment section how many of you are actually thinking about getting this coffee grinder. Love to hear from you. All right, see you guys next time.